Hello, this is Paul Hummiller at Dream Guitars, and today I have the honor of showing you a brand new Tippin Al Petaway model. So Bill Tippin and Al Petaway are two of my dearest friends. I've known Bill for years now. Um, he's simply one of the, the master builders of our time. Um, and many of his peers will agree that his guitars are super clean, beautifully built. They last. Um, he's known for a long um, repair as a, uh, career as a repairman, which makes him a better builder because he's building guitars that will certainly stand the test of time. And everyone I've seen has. Um, his finish and detail work is just incredible, as you'll see on this instrument as we go through it. And this is an Al Petaway signature model, which Bill and Al um, created a relationship a few years back where they, um, Al um, gave Bill specs for a personal guitar for him. And then it's become a series that we now do for some folks who want to order um, an Al Petaway model. So what's unique about this guitar is a few things. It's got a moon spruce top, which is one of my favorite spruces. You've heard me probably talk about it before, but it's, it's um, European spruce, but it's harvested when the moon phase is such that the sap comes out of the tree and into the bottom, into the roots. So that when you cut the tree, there's less sap content, which makes it lighter and more vibrant. Um, not to be underestimated, every guitar I've heard with Moon Spruce has been really special. And I personally have several, um, and they're my main guitars that I play. And I can tell you that this guitar, I'll play it for you in a second, but um, brand new. It has lots of body energy that's like you just wouldn't expect from a new guitar. And I think that's in no small part due to the quality of the materials, the wood. Um, this was built for a great friend of the shop um, who requested some custom features and um, a little bit of um, homage to his mother who recently passed as well. So as we go through the guitar, I'll show you that. So it's Moon Spruce, really beautiful Koa rosette, Koa armrest bevel, African blackwood bindings. Um, look at all the pictures, Just really spend a few minutes on the website and click on each picture and blow it up because this guitar is worth staring at for a moment. Get a little glass of red wine and enjoy yourself. Cutaway, of course. Um, on the fingerboard, there's a couple of special things. And again, you won't see it well here, but take a look on the, the photos. So the whole fingerboard is bound with abalone and purfling lines. And then the homage to his mother is down here. There's a, there's a needle point needle and the purfling line comes off of the abalone and becomes the thread in the needle. So just really elegant way to remember his mom every time he holds the guitar. The inlay here is inspired by Bill's love and, and the owner of this guitar's love of sailing and, and travel in general. And then gorgeous headstock, just a beautiful piece of Brazilian with some fossilized ivory and abalone. And then as we turn the guitar over, just lush, lush, beautiful Brazilian rosewood that everybody, everybody loves. Um, Bill has a great supply of it. Bill's a, a wood junkie like most luthiers. He's got his beautiful heel treatment and a beveled, um, beveled edge here, so as your hand comes up to play at the top of the neck, you have a little bit of extra comfort there. I believe this is a Cuban mahogany neck. It's got gorgeous dark red hues and figure. Just, just absolutely lovely and makes it very, very resonant. There's also a sound port on the side of this guitar. And I love the way Bill does it. Not only the aesthetic, the look of it is gorgeous, but it's, the size is just about right to give you enough more in your ear without being a false sound. So I really enjoy playing Bill's guitars that have the port on them. So absolutely lovely. Um, I just want to give you a quick listen. We're going to have Al play the guitar in a minute since it's his namesake. Um, but I want you to sh show you how much body energy and bloom this guitar has already, even though it's brand new. So what I mean by bloom is when you strike a chord, it's almost as if the sound continues to swell for a, a, a second or two. And that's a lovely sign to me of a great Brazilian rosewood guitar, especially. It's something that Brazilian does. So here's just a little bit of sample of it. And then we'll go ahead and let Al give his namesake a spin here. So enjoy. Thank you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.